Good evening. Good evening, teacher Kike. Hello, Kenya. Hello, Cecil. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Alma. Good evening. So we're almost starting, okay, people? So okay. We're gonna wait for a couple of minutes so that the rest of the people can gather. Then we are going to start uh, with our topic for tonight, which is a topic related with simple past tense, all right? Okay, just give me some minutes, okay, people? Okay. Okay, see you in a couple of minutes. Hey, good evening. Good evening. Hello. Can you listen to me? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Yes, teacher, I listen. All right, so that's good. I can see Alma, Wilson, Fatima, Irving, Jose Enrique, Hi, Kenya, and Cecil. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. Yes, everybody's connected yeah. now and uh, ready. Are you ready to start? Ready. More than Hi, ready. Yes, I'm ready. Hello, 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 Cecil. Okay, I'm really happy to see you again. I'm glad 
uh, to know that you are uh, ready to start a new adventure in the English uh, course and that, Sorry, you, and that you are um, uh, very energetic tonight in order to continue learning English, right, as a second language. Okay, so, uh, you know, um, this is the last week of the course, right? I know that you you are aware of it, okay? And it's very important uh, that you uh, complete all the activities that are required, okay, for this course. And the activities in the platform, okay, the homework assignments, practice English all the time. I mean, that's very important for me. And uh, it's quite important for you to move on to the following uh, level of English, okay? This is basic, okay, basic English. And someday you are gonna move to intermediate. You will be intermediate English students, okay? So I can see that there are, there are more people uh, getting into the class. Uh, I will check the list attendance at the end, okay? And we're gonna continue uh, working the same way we have done it so far. Okay, um, we're going to start. Uh, the last time we were talking about some um, activities in the past. You, I remember you told us um, a story, right? And, and you were in church of, um, uh, I remember you created like 10 sentences in the past, right? And you were in charge of include, including those sentences into the story. But, okay, we're going to see if we, if we have some time to see the homework, okay? Because we have a lot of work to do tonight, okay? Well, we're going to start. We're going to start. Um, I, will, I will try to introduce the topic for tonight by by seeing the activities in the in the platform okay so i think it's very suitable okay to start working with it there are two people chatting jorge david says good evening okay since I good evening you. teacher hello hello buddy do you have some problems not really now Okay, people, now let us let us start because we only have 60 minutes and you know, 60 minutes uh, goes re go really fast, right? So it's very important to start working with uh, our topic. Okay, now, uh, I wonder if there is uh, somebody who wants to help me to read the, the lesson for tonight. It says, by the end of the class, you will be able to form positive and negative statements with the past of the verb be. And it also says, additionally, you will practice, additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is just in real life setting. Okay, so we're going to start with it. We're not gonna, we're not gonna go over it in detail. Okay, but let me see. Yeah, this is the conversation, right? So I will go over it. Uh, we're not going to go over it in detail, you know, because I have a lot of information and I also have a couple of exercises in, in a PowerPoint presentation I looked for. Okay, Jorge David has problems with the microphone. Let me see. I will check it, Jorge David. Jorge David, right, has problems with his microphone all right okay now let's see we're gonna start seeing the information hi everyone in this class you learn to form now uh no problems with the audio no problems with the air with the video do you see the video do you listen to it clearly it's a no problem, problem. Yes, no problem. okay no problem. so we're gonna we're gonna see the video and we're going to No try problem, teacher. Okay, very good. So we're going to try to get familiarized with the topic. Catherine says, teacher, today I will not be able to turn on. All right, Catherine. All right. I got it. Catherine Roxana. Okay, meanwhile, you see the video 
Okay, try to pay attention, take notes if you want, uh, repeat the vocabulary, okay, so that we can get connected with the class tonight. Hi everyone, in this class you learn to form positive and negative statements using the past of be. Additionally, we'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I was born in Korea. Let's listen and practice. I was born in Korea. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 1999. Hmm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good, too. Yeah, but I was born here. Let's take a look at the statements. Now, before your getting English there, is... now let's see what's going on with the, with the conversation. Now, what is the topic for tonight, people? Who remembers what's our topic tonight? The past. The past of? The, the past of the verb? Be. Okay, so that's what that is what we are looking for, right? Of be. The past of the verb be. Now, wh which are the two forms of the past? Uh, I mean, for the past of the verb be. What are uh, the two where? forms? We have two forms. We have two where forms. Where and was. was. Was and where. Yeah. Was, was and where. All right. Now that you... Do you know uh, about it? Let's see. Let us let us try to identify it. Let's try to identify it in the following. As follow. Now, in the first uh, statement, where were you born, Melissa? Do you have verb verb be over here? Uh, yeah. Where? Where over here? Where, yes, sir. Where were you born, Melissa? Now, I was born in Korea. Verb be in the past, in the second one? Was. 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 I was. Now, quite important. I now, was. Because you I need was. to know that with you, you are going to use where. With I, I you are going to use was. Okay? I was, you were. I was born in Korea. All right. So we also have negative statements like weren't. You weren't. weren't. All right. You weren't born in the U.S. No, I came here in 1999. Um, you were pretty young. Where, where? where once again, right? So where? Grammar. Yes, I was only 17. I uh -huh. was. Where? Yes, I was. Okay, Jose Herrera, do you have any question? Only. 17. Yes, I have a question. Tell me. What is the difference in the pronunciation? Where and where? <laughs> This one, right? Where, 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 where you where? born? There, where? Is a, okay. there, is a, there is a slight difference, but it is very similar, but it's not the same. Where were you born? Where, where you born? Where, Do you, where? Yeah. Do you notice the, the difference? Jose, do yes, you notice? Yeah, yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Hey, now you see simple pass over here. Did you go to college right away? Right away is, I mean, immediately, right? Right away means immediately. No, my English wasn't very good. It wasn't. Be, wasn't, right? Negative form. Wasn't very good. So I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks, your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. What? what? Was. Very good. Now that we identify both forms, okay, let's move on. Let's move on, okay? We identify that we have I was, you, where, he. Was, she was, it was, 
we were, you were, and they were. Let's see what's going on with the video, people. Pretty good, too. Yeah, but I was born here. Let's take a look at the statements on All this right. chart now. Take a look at it. Statements with the past of B. I was born in Korea. Positive. I wasn't born in the U.S. Negative. You were pretty young. You weren't very Positive. old. She was 17. She wasn't in college. We were born in the same year. We weren't born in the same country. They were in Korea in 1998. They weren't in the U.S. in 1998. Contractions. Contractions. Wasn't equals was not. Was not. Weren't equals we're, in, we're not we're not now let me see uh, let's continue because i think that we still have some more information we can follow this formula to form positive statements in the past with b subject plus was or where plus complement we need to remember the following for the pronouns you, we, and they, we will use where. And for the pronouns I, he, she, and it, we will use was. Now let's analyze a couple of examples. I was born in Korea. First, we need to add a subject, I. Then we will use the verb to be in the past, was. Finally, we will include a complement, born in Korea. Let's do one more example. We were born in the same year. First, we need to add a subject, we. Then we will use the verb to be in the past, where. Finally, we will include a complement, born in the same year. Now, let's talk about making negative statements in the past with B. We can follow this formula to form negative statements in the past with B. Subject plus wasn't or weren't plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of negative examples. I wasn't born in the US. First, we need to add a subject, I. Then we will use the verb to be in the past in its negative form, wasn't. I would like to point out that this is the same as saying was not, but we will typically use contractions. Finally, we include a complement, born in the US. Let's analyze one more example. They weren't in the U.S. in 1998. First, we need to add the subject they. Then we'll use the verb to be in the past in its negative form, weren't. I would like to point out that this is the same as saying were not. But we will typically use contractions. Finally, we include a complement. And the US in 1998. Now it's your turn to practice making positive and negative statements in the past with Beam about yourself, friends, and family. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. All right, so you see, simple uh, past form of the verb to be. All right, so good evening for the people that are just coming to the class. Okay, I will check the, the attendance later. I hope everybody can gather tonight. Hey, you know, if that was difficult, uh, do, do you think it's difficult or uh, very simple? It's simple. It's very simple, right? It's so simple. I, I got something else for you, okay? I don't know if we are going to be able to finish with everything here, okay? But let me see, let me see. Give me one second, please. 
because I, I have something here for you. Okay, now, uh, well, I will try to be brief. Okay, we'll try to be brief because I have something for you here. Okay, now I have this information. Okay. Now, can you can you read the info here? What is the topic? Fast Fast import. Fast import. Where? Where? Was and where? Was where? Was and where? All right. So. We're gonna see this information, okay, as 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 quickly as possible. Now, who wants to help me to read, please? Tom is at school today. today. All right, today. Tom, Tom is at school today. Tom is at school today. What things is at that school one? Today. What is the things, people? Present. Present, right? So it's simple present of the verb to be. And who wants to help me to read the second one? Fast. So, yeah. Some yesterday. So one yesterday. Home yesterday. Exactly. And something that you need to notice is that we have past. Pre the present form over here, the so past one. form over here. Past. And also, there are some time expressions such as today. Uh, in present and also yes. there are, there are uh, past, past statements or I mean past, uh, past expressions to to talk about simple past. That is quite simple, past. right? So le let us try to see what's coming because I have a lot of info over here. So we're gonna try to move on. Is is present, all right? Right. What is the past? So far so good. Now. We are at school today, it's present. We were at we home were. yesterday. We were. Okay, present of the verb to be are. Past of the verb to be were. Were. Okay, now over here you will see it uh, better. Okay. Question. Hey, I can listen. Somebody has a gominola song at home. <laughs> Can you please turn your microphone off? But that was really good. Now, look at it. Hey, look at it, people. Now, when we have, okay, I will say that the, the subject problem, you will tell me the, 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 the verb be form, okay? If I say I, I was, I was, was. or in negative, wasn't. I was wasn't. And you need a compliment, right? I wasn't at home. If I was say summer. he, he was or he, he wasn't. She was, he was. She was or she wasn't. We. We were. Or we, we were. And it were. all depends, right? You were or you weren't. And they were or they weren't. Were. Well, on the other hand, we have questions. Later on, we're gonna see that, but I want you to see the information over here. Now, when you have questions, remember that uh, the pattern changes. We still, uh, we have the verb to be at the beginning, right? Capital letter, and then we have the subject pronoun, right? Or the, or the, or the subject. Uh, was I at school? Was he at school? Was she at school? Were we at school? Were you at school, etc. right? And notice that over here we need the question mark. That's very important. It tells us that we are talking about simple past. Now, uh, we have four questions. For the questions, we have a short answer, right? For this kind of question. When we say, was he at home yesterday? Yes, he was. Or... No, he wasn't. Or no, he wasn't. Yeah. Notice that when you write down, yes, you need a comma and a period at the end. So this is a short answer. Were you at home yesterday? Yes, you were. Yes, wow. you were. Or no, you were. Okay, so that's another way to answer, short answers. Okay, let's see what's going on because... You see, was, wasn't. 
where where in now let us see some some examples over here some sentences one day bill was hungry bill was bill this is a noun right proper noun for the dog bill was now bob was hungry too was bob was okay somebody help me to read the next one please Fred was in the park. He was hungry. Excellent. Fred was, was in the park. He wasn't he was, hungry. hungry. He was hungry. He wasn't. He wasn't hungry. He wasn't hungry. He wasn't hungry. He wasn't hungry. All right. He and, wasn't hungry. Yeah, exactly. Now let's continue with it. Chuck. We have Chuck. We have Ted. We have Benji. Benji. And we have Beethoven, right? Okay. Were, were also in a park. park. Now, they were in the park. They, all of them, all of them were in the park, okay? They weren't hungry. They were happy. Now, look at it. They said, there was a sign bill there was a sign there was now do you remember about there is okay the platform for there is is there was okay okay he also say it was very funny he also said it was very funny Soon we were in a park too. We were, we were. I want you to get familiarized with it because later remember that you are going to be, tomorrow you are going to present a, a biography, a biography, okay? Not tonight, but tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow you are going to present a, a biography and the day after tomorrow you are going to present an autobiography, okay? You are going to start working on that. Okay. Uh, we were there and we uh, were still hungry. We were, you know, we were, we were there and we were still hungry. There was a chest uh, in the, in the sand box. box. Uh -huh. We have some bones here, right? Let's see. Ah, uh, it, it was full of full buns. Full of buns. Old buns. buns. Full of buns. There were, there were buns. Buns. buns for every for every for everyone. everyone. Okay. There were buns for everyone. Now there, there was, was a bun for both. For both. For both. In one for Ted. For and one and for Fred. For Fred. Okay, there was a bone for Bob, there was a bone for Ted, and there was a bone for Fred. For it. Yeah. There were now look at it. Now they were bones because now plural born bones. There were bones everywhere. 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 My friends. My friends. Never more hungry. We're never more hungry, right? Now you see. Now it's time for you. Now listen to people. It's let, time for you. Yeah, it's, it's time, for, time you. Let, for you. Let us try to complete some exercises over here in a very quick way, okay? Now, number one, I will ask some of you to complete, okay? Now it's your turn, okay? But I will try to do it individually, okay? Uh, Alba Luz, what is the answer for number one? I wasn't at home yesterday. Perfect. I wasn't at home yesterday. I wasn't? Okay. Fantastic. What about Alma Yvette, second one? I was at the school. I was at school, perfect. What about Carlos Ernesto, the third one? 
Carlos I Ernesto. Was, I was happy because. I was happy because. Because my friends. Uh -huh. Because my friends, my friends was. My friends were in the school. Ah, uh, all right. Because my where? friends were were at school too. Very good. Now let's see. Next see next person. Uh, Cecil, what about the last one? They were happy too. They were happy too. Fantastic. Now let's move on with the next part. We're gonna try to finish it as soon as possible. This is pure practice. Okay. Now let's see. I have Tom and Tommy for Gloria, Carolina. Go ahead, please, Gloria. Gloria, Carolina, not in the class. Okay, I will check it later if she if she was in a class. Hector Adalberto. He was, but Tom. Tom was. Tom was. Tom was. was in the playground. In Tom was in a in playground the... last week. Okay. Last week. It is Elizabeth. Irving. He was with his dad. He was with his dad. Very good. Jorge Adalberto. Um, he wasn't. Jorge Adalberto. Jorge David. I'm sorry, teacher. Uh, George Alberto or Adalberto? Yeah, Jorge. He said Jorge Alberto. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, what sentence? Uh, he with his dad. Okay, he was with his dad. He was with his dad. Very good. Thank you. Uh, Jose Enrique with the next one. Tongs Moon was in the pride group. Perfect. Very good. Jose Luis, let's continue. Uh -huh. So Jose Luis. Yes, here is one. Jose Oscar. Tom was on. Uh, Tom's mom was in the playground. Playground. Tom's mom was in the playground. All right. And uh, let me see, in the next one, we have Julio Cesar, Tom on the slide. Tom was on the slide. Very good, Catherine, you did. This is the last one, right? It was. Let me see, Katie, Tatiana. Norma, Beatriz. Rebecca Michel. Uh, I think it's he was on the swing. He was on the swing. <laughs> swing. All right. So we're almost done with this. Okay. We are almost done. Very good. Now. We're gonna try to do it in a very fast way. I won't ask people directly. So it's tell me, ta, ta, Sally and Tom. Was. Where? Some people say was, some people say where. Was. But we have two people. We have Sally and we also where? have Tom. They, well, they, so where, right? They, where? So we need where. They, Sally they, and Tom. Where in the zoo. Now let's take a look at the next one. There, they elephants. Were. They were. 
They were elephant. because we have many elephants, right? In the zoo. They. They were. They were huge. They were huge. They were huge. But the children. Were. Were. Scared. Were or weren't? Were. Weren't. Paris. No, but it says, but the children were scared were. or, but the children weren't. Weren't. Weren't, right? It makes sense were. if you say weren't. It were. great. It was. Was. It was great. It was great. All right, so you did a great job. Now, we will continue with the activity in the platform because we need to move on. Let me see, let me see. So if you want, I can share the this this presentation in the in the WhatsApp group tomorrow. Okay, so that you can you can practice by your own, right? But now we will continue with the activity in the platform so that we can move on. Okay. In this <laughs> the knowledge check. Now uh, you are this is a 5.2. Okay, we're gonna do it as quickly as possible. We will check it as we usually do it. All right, and let's see what's going on. Over here is something similar. You need to add the correct form of the verb uh, be in the past, was or were, wasn't or weren't, so positive or negative statements to complete the conversation. Now over here, I need uh, people who haven't participated in the class. Reina Concepcion, my family and I, Reina. Salvador Galdames. Teacher, can I? Sure, go ahead, please. Okay, teacher. Where? My family and I were all born in South Korea. All right. Okay, people, let us try to, co to complete it as quickly as possible. Who wants to help me with the second one? We were born in the U.S. We? we weren't. Some people say wasn't. What is the correct one? Were. Hey, listen. Weren't. We Give me one second because I mean, I mean, some people have it clear, but there are some people who haven't uh, gotten it clearly. For example, if I say I. Not born in the U.S. Let us conjugate it, please. I. Were. Was. Was. I continue. Was. Continue. You were. Was. Continue. He was. He was. Continue, he was. was. Continue, please. He was. He was. He was. Continue. They were. He was. Were. Was. Were. Was. 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 Were. 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 Was. Okay. Was. It. Continue. Continue, please. We were. 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 And Continue. Were. You were. You were. Were. Continue. They were. They were. All right. So this is the way we conjugate the verb to be. And if we have, for example, we wasn't or we weren't. Weren't. Right. So that's that's perfect. We weren't. All right. So let's were. see. Let's see. We were. Give me one second, please. We weren't. Okay, the, please, somebody else, complete the, the next one, please. I was, I was, I was, I was in I was. the city of Kitchen, and my brother, and my brother was born there, there too. All right, let's continue with my parents. My parents went. My parents, my parents, weren't, my parents weren't, weren't born in Inchon. In 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 born in the They were. They were born they, in Inchon. They, they were they, they were, were born, born in Africa, Africa, Africa. Seoul. Seoul. All right, fantastic. And the last one in South Korea, my father was a businessman and my mother was a teacher. Excellent. Let's see what's going on. If we let's see if we didn't commit any mistake. All right. Now let me see the first one. Okay, my family and I were, you see, my family and I. Now, what about if we say only my family? Yes. 
what 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 about if we say only my family? Was was, was. if we say only my family, my family was ah was. all right, so that's different, right? But since we have my family and I were very good. We were in very good. You have two options. Remember that you can contract it or you can uh, write it down uh, by using complete uh, form of the verb to be in negative. All right. In the next one, we have was, were or were not. All right. Were or were. Uh, was. That's it. So we got a 10, right? So people, do me the favor, <clears throat> sorry, do me the favor to complete all the activities in the platform, okay? Now, over here, we, we, we saw the PowerPoint presentation, but anyways, we're gonna go over some oh. extra info about how to ask and answer question with the past of the verb to be. Additionally, we will also learn how to express years in English, all right? Years. Years, that's right. And let me see. Let's see this video, people. Let us see this video. And and try to um try to pay special attention because uh, you are going to read the info at the at the end, okay? Pay attention to pronunciation, to the way the, the questions are formed, the way they are answered, okay? We saw this information in the PowerPoint presentation, but we need to reaffirm the information. Let's see, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to... Do you listen to it? Yes, I listen. Yes. Okay, yes, so let's yes, continue. Sir. Let's continue. Yes, All right, yes let's... sir. All right, let's continue. Ask and answer questions with the past of be. Additionally, you'll also learn how to express years. Let's get started by analyzing the questions that you see on this chart. Questions with the past of be. Were you born in the U.S.? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Was your brother born in 1984? Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. He wasn't. Were your parents born in Incheon? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Where were you born? I was born in Korea. Korea. When was he when born? Was he was born, born in 1985. What city were they born in? They were born in Seoul. Years. 1906. 1917. 1999. 2001. To form questions with the past of B, we can follow this formula. WH word plus was or where. Now, listen, people. We studied about just no questions, right? Such as where were you born in the US? You have two options, right? Yes, I was or no, I wasn't. Um, but, or this one, for example, were your parents born in Asian? Yes, they were or no, they weren't. Okay, so we have just no question, right? You answer yes or you answer no. But in the following information, the guy or the person in charge of presenting this info, We'll introduce double H question words with the verb to be in the past. So where is regarding to, to a place, right? So that's why the person says, where, where were you born? I was born in Korea. Okay, a place. When? Something regarding to the, to the time. When was he born? He was born in 1985. What city were they born in? They were born in Seoul. So, but let's 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 continue with the with with the information plus he's providing. Subject plus complement. Let me point out that whenever we make yes or no questions, there won't be a wh word. Let's analyze a couple of examples. Were you born in the U.S.? In this case. 
This is a yes or no question, so we don't add a WH word. The first thing we do is add the verb to be in the past, where. Next, we need to include the subject, you. Finally, we need to add the complement and a question mark at the end, born in the US. To answer this type of question, we can answer positively by saying, yes, I was, or negatively by saying, no, I wasn't. Let's analyze one last example. Where were you born? In this case, this is a WH question, so we need to add a WH word. The first <laughs> thing we need to do is to add a WH word. Next, we need to include the verb to be in the past, where. After that, we need to add the subject, you. Finally, we need to add a complement and a question mark, born. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to practice making questions about place of origin and birthdays, similar to the examples on the chart. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forum. Okay. Now we're going to try to have more information okay, about, about what we got over here, right? Oops, give me one second, because... Okay. That's better. Okay, now if I ask you, when were you born? Now we'll stop it over here. Let me see, this is 5.4. 5. 5. Then we're gonna go over this part. But let me see, I, I will ask uh, some of you about the question. Hey. Where were you born? If I ask, for example, Hector, Hector, where were you born? Hector, where were you born, Hector? Well, Hector seems to have problems tonight. Okay, Jorge, no, let me see. Jose Enrico, Enrique, where were you born? Hiroshima, Japan. You were born in Hiroshima, Japan. Oh my God. My goodness. Is that right? Eh, eh, lo de la plataforma, no? No, I mean. Samurai. Uh, Samurai. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, it's about you, Jose Enrique. Okay, sorry. No, it's all right. So we thought that you were, that you were born in, the, in Japan. Not really? Excuse me? Now, where were you born, Jose Enrique? Were you born in San Salvador? Were you born in Santa Ana? Where were you born? I was born in Santa Ana City. Uh, Jose Herrera was born in Santana City. Okay, S -s we have a Santa Nico in here, right? That's quite good. Alma, where were you born? I was born in San Salvador. In San Salvador, all right, very good. The capital of El Salvador. El Salvador is the most beautiful country worldwide. <laughs> Kenya, where were you born, Kenya? I was born in San Salvador. In San Salvador also? Good. Yes. Jenny, when were you born? When were you born? I was, I was born in, in Ilopango. Uh, now, listen carefully. Where were you born? When were you born? When? Who were? Where were you born? Where? Yeah. Uh, when? Um, I was born in 19, no, in, ¿cómo se dice? 1987. 1987. 1987. Uh -huh. I was born in 1987. In 1987, very good. Christopher, where were you born? 
Uh, excuse me, teacher. Repeat, where were you, Where were you born? Ah, uh, uh, I I born in Santa Tecla. Okay, you you tell me. I was born. I was born in Santa Tecla. That's right. So don't forget to use the verb to be in the past. I was born. I was, when were you born, Christopher? I was born two times. I was born. I was born. I was born in 2000. Okay, very good. Let me see. Rebecca, where in in when were you born? I were I was born in San Salvador. And I was born in In 2000. Okay, in 2000. Very good. Don't forget to activate your camera, people. If you don't have problem with camera, I want to see you uh, with your cameras activated. Susana Isabel, I haven't heard you. Susana, when and where were you born? I was born in San Vicente. Wow. I, yes. And I was born in 1990. In 1990. 90. All right. Very good. What about uh, Carolina? Let me see if Carolina is over here. No, Carolina is not over here. Cecil, when were you born? I was born in La Unión. You were you were born in La Unión. In La Unión, yes. All right. And when were you born? I I was born in nineteen sixty four. Nineteen sixty four. Perfect. Excellent. Now I wonder if Sandra is in the class now, Sandra. Is Sandra here now? No, Sandra is not on here. Well, let's continue, people. Let's see. Let's see. At the end, I will, I will um, check the list attendance in detail. Now, we share, once again, the information. Okay, and let us try to finish with this part. This is the 5.5. Okay, Jorge David says I'm here at home. Okay, Jorge David. Thank you, Jorge. David. Now, people, over here, you know, it's a multiple, uh, oh, multiple choice. Select the best answer to the question. Where were you born? What's the best option there? Now, what, give me one second. But I think this is better, right? Where were you born? What is the best option, people? In Hiroshima, Japan. In Hiroshima, Japan. In Hiroshima, Japan. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Tokyo. How was your first day at How was your first day of, of school? It was, a, was little a little scary. scary. It was a little scary. Who was scary. Your, your first friend at, in school? Her name was Jumiko. Jumiko, right? What was she like? She was really, she was really friendly. She was really friendly. She was, she was really, really friendly. friendly. Why did you take the class? I wanted to improve my English. I wanted to improve my English. I wanted to improve my English, okay? To. I wanted to improve my English. Let's see if we if we got it. All right. In the first one, where were you born? In Hiroshima, Japan. I was born in Hiroshima, Japan. Okay, where did you grow up? I grew up in Tokyo. How was your first day at school? It was a little scary. And who was your best friend or your first friend? Her name was Yumiko. What, what was she like? Okay, she was really friendly. And why did you take this class? Because I wanted to improve my English. Okay, people, 
That was fantastic. Now, let me see. This is the 5.5. So for, for tomorrow, uh, do me the favor to, uh, to practice this info about, about pronouncing, um, pronouncing the, the verb to be in the contracted form. Okay. And let's see. Tomorrow we will continue with it. Let me see if we still have. Yeah, I think we still have time to see this video. Let us see Can't. it and tomorrow we continue. Two syllables. Isn't. Wasn't. Doesn't. Didn't. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. These aren't their swimsuits. They can't swim. He wasn't here yesterday, and he isn't here today. A quick tip to follow when expressing contractions is to extend the N. For example, I can't. They weren't. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to listen and repeat the contractions until you feel comfortable pronouncing them. All right. Isn't. Now, why is quite important to practice contractive form of the verbs? I mean, say aren't, don't, weren't, can't, isn't, doesn't, wasn't, didn't. It's important because, you know, when, when people speak uh, naturally, they do not use that frequently i mean um the verb with no contraction they don't say did not i mean that is correct but normally or we use contractive form more uh frequently okay so do me the favor to practice this at home and then say they didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry who wants to help me to read this they Thank you, Jenny. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. Okay, the pronunciation of this word is dinner, dinner. Dinner, oh, perfect. They, they didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. Good, Jenny. Who wants to help me to read the second one? I don't like coffee. I don't like, uh -huh. And she doesn't like tea. Perfect. Very good. Kenya, is there anybody who wants to help me with the next? These aren't their swing suits. They can't swing. Fantastic. These aren't their swim suits. They can't swim. Very good. And the last one. She was her yesterday. yesterday and Today. All right. He wasn't here yesterday and he isn't here today. Very good. That's fantastic, people. Great job. I mean, it's quite interesting to practice. Some people know uh, knew about this topic. Okay. But you see, it is quite good to practice uh, English. Okay. Quite good. No matter if the topic is kind of easy, uh, kind of difficult. The thing is that we have to uh, practice English most of the time. I will stop sharing, okay, and I will check the list, the list attendance, and I think it's going to be enough, okay. Eh, por favor, chicos, miren, les voy a uh, hablar en español aunque sea los últimos minutitos para que dejemos claro lo siguiente. Esta semana terminamos con eh, las clases de este nivel. Y por favorcito, les pido que terminen las actividades en la plataforma, ¿ok? Especialmente con lo que vamos en esta semana es con el examen, ¿verdad? Entonces, traten de obtener un 100% ahí, yo sé que lo pueden lograr, ¿ok? Y este, por ahí veo que se ayudan ustedes en el WhatsApp y eso está perfecto, ¿ok? Siempre y cuando este, aprendamos, ¿verdad? Resolvemos el ejercicio, ¿ok? Pero también lo, lo más importante es que aprendamos cómo, cómo funciona. Voy a mencionar a algunos de las personas que no, no este, me respondieron al momento de, 
de solicitar de su participación, pero quiero constatar si están o no están en la clase. Gloria Carolina. Iris Elizabeth. José Luis. José Luis Castro, Catherine Judith, Katie Tatiana, Norma Beatriz, Reina Concepción, Salvador Galdames. Present teacher. Oops, Salvador. Okay, Salvador, thanks for answer. Eh, Sandra Guadalupe. Silvia Carolina. And that's it, right? Eh, les, también les pido, eh, chicos, que por favor no, no falten a las clases, ¿ok? Es sumamente importante. Acuérdense que solo son 60 minutos um, diarios, ¿ok? De lunes a jueves. Y imagínense si faltamos un, un día, pues prácticamente perdemos la oportunidad de practicar, ¿ok? Practicar y tener, pues, este, el respaldo de un docente que nos ayude, ¿verdad? Eh, a corregir ciertas, ciertas cosas. Algunas veces es, a lo mejor no, no corrijo pronunciación porque mi enfoque está más en gramática. Y otras veces eh, pueda que no corrija algo de gramática porque mi enfoque está más eh, eh, dirigido a la pronunciación. Entonces vamos a ir jugando con esas cosas, ¿verdad? Lo importante es que, que vayamos aprendiendo y que tratemos de aprender de la mejor manera, ¿verdad? Por eso siempre les digo yo que si ustedes van a estudiar inglés en, en casa, algo que no hemos visto acá en la clase, pues está perfecto, pero asegúrense que, se lo, que lo están aprendiendo bien, ¿ok? La, con la pronunciación correcta, con la gramática correcta, y eso les va a ayudar, ¿ok? Les va a ayudar porque cuando lleguen con, con otro docente, o ya vayan escalando en los niveles de inglés, ustedes ya no, ya no se van a preocupar tanto como por, por, por el vocabulario. O sea, mientras más avancemos acá, van a ir encontrando más vocabulario, okay, más pronunciación, más gramática, eh, eh, ideas principales, vamos a ir identificando ideas secundarias. O sea, inglés es, es muy vasto, ¿verdad? Eh, nunca vamos a terminar de, de, de estudiar inglés, la verdad. Y eso es bueno, porque todos los días vamos a tener algo que estudiar. Eh, no sé si hay alguna pregunta, algún comentario. Si no lo hay, pues entonces también les recomiendo que si pueden adelantar en las actividades de, de la plataforma, que lo hagan. De acuerdo, teacher. Ok, entonces, pues, si no hay, si no hay más participaciones, nos vemos mañana. Ok, teacher. Thank you, teacher. It's my pleasure. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thanks, teacher. Hey, my pleasure, buddy. <laughs> <laughs>